Hi there, my name is Jeremy Dittis. Welcome to Delcro's Education. So I'm going to play a, a pattern on the piano. And I want you guys to figure out a way to show me that pattern in some way. Really use your entire body for this, all right? And when my music changes, I want you to say goodbye to your partner and I want you to move through the space. But use the whole space, all right? Whatever I play, I want to see it in your body. Got it? In this Eurythmics lesson, we are exploring a rhythmic pattern, short, short, long, in augmentation and diminution. Students don't know when the changes will take place, but they want to be with the music, so they react as soon as possible. This fosters a dynamic learning environment. Oh, I love that long note. In Delcro's education, gorgeous. we use movement as the gateway to musical understanding. The teacher encourages invention and improvisation while guiding students to improve facility and precision. Exactly right. Good. Show me all of that motion. Beautiful. When did you do Purple Red? That was always with a what? With a friend. That's exactly right. And then the music changed. What happened when the music changed? Red, red, blue. Can you show me, please? Excellent. Red, red, blue. And then what else did we have? Forest green. Excellent. Kaylee? I like to use diverse vocabulary to represent rhythm. Here, color words represent rhythmic values, but in another class, we might choose different pathways. When we do these guys, we start out with this one. This is our theme. What's the relationship between this one and this one? This is the augmentation because it is what? It's twice as slow. And what is this guy? the diminution because it is twice as fast or twice as small. By discovering concepts in their bodies, music literacy becomes second nature. In the next game, dotted rhythms offer a playful challenge to the class. At diminution, students grab their neighbor's scarf. At augmentation, they stop. But if they hear augmentation again, they must toss their scarves. It's awesome to watch and a blast to experience. Next up, we explore natural and harmonic minor scales with a game of tag in Delcro Solfege. Did that have a seven that was shiny or a seven that was dark? It's a dark seven. What do we call that dark seven? It's the subtonic, very good. Here, if the follower hears the dark subtonic seven, they must turn around and run back to base before the leader tags them. <laughs> well done, all right. But if they hear the bright leading tone seven, the leader must charge forward to base before the follower can tag them. Delcro Solfesh challenges the ear but in a fun and playful way. Using both feeling and embodiment of pitch, students experience the leading tone's powerful energy to resolve up. With music and movement as the driving force, Delcro's education unlocks creativity while inspiring us to do our best. For students of all ages and levels, we offer a profound yet exciting way of expressing and understanding music. But most importantly, we have a good time together making music. <laughs>